Hi, Colin Boyd here, and I wanted to have a conversation with you about the power of focus. In the midst of the calamity that's around me right now, I'm down at Darling Harbour. It's a beautiful day. I've got a whole lot of fairies behind me and so forth. But I want to teach you focus and the structure of it and how you can use it in the workplace. Hi, Colin Boyd here from colinboyd.com.au. And I want to have an important conversation with you right now about focus. It was only just the other day that I had a coaching client come and say to me, Colin, I just have so much going on at work. I've got distractions, I've got emails, I've got people asking me for my time. I've got so much going on. How do I get focused in the midst of all of this? Well, I think there is three key elements to focus. Because I don't know about you, I mean, I've heard a lot of great advice say get focused and so forth, but how do you actually do it? Let me introduce you to what I call the structure of focus. So the first key element to creating focus is a clear task. So what I mean by that is it's a specific outcome or a specific task that you're trying to achieve. For example, it might be, um, sometimes, sometimes people say, oh, I want to get a project done. But that's not really a clear task. A specific task might be uh, creating, like it might be making three phone calls, or it might be, um, or it might be sending out a specific email. So you need a specific task that the brain can focus on. The second element is a distraction-free environment. So very unlike this environment I'm in right now, right? Um, you need a distraction-free environment. Now it might be for you a cafe might be a distraction-free environment. So you've got some buzz in the background. But, it's a, but it's, a, it's a stimulating environment. Or it might be a, like a meeting room or somewhere where you're not going to get distracted, right? And the third key element is having a set time frame. So rather than saying, hey, I'm going to work for six hours or whatever, seven hours in the day, you say for 90 minutes or for 50 minutes or for 30 minutes, um, I'm going to work on this specific task. So it's these three things, right? A clear task, a distraction-free environment, and a set time frame. So if we combine these three things, if you, if you think about it, when you have a clear task and you've got a distraction-free environment, what you really get is clarity. So you're able to concentrate. I think when you've got a distraction-free environment and you've also got a set time frame, what that creates is flow. So in other words, you've got a, the, the right amount of time to get into your task and get absorbed by your task. And I think when you've got a set time frame but you've also, and you've also got a clear task, that creates hustle. So in other words, you're not just procrastinating, you're actually getting it done. So really what it gives you is, is a sense of clarity, a sense of flow and hustle. And that is going to give you a sense of focus. So we've just had a conversation about focus. I trust it's been valuable. So please like it and tweet it. And I've got one question for you. What is your biggest distraction at work? Please write that in the comments below. Love to interact. Speak with you soon.